In this lesson, we are going to introduce digital ethics. So first of all, let's talk digital. When we're talking about the digital in digital ethics, we're talking about things related to computers, cell phones, tablets, uh, think about like iPads for instance, iPods, pretty much anything on which you can access the online community. So again, when we're talking about digital ethics, think about anything you can use to access the internet, um, to go online, and that is what we're talking about when we're referring to digital. So what about the ethics part? What are digital ethics? Well, digital ethics in this online community, using any of the devices we can use to get there, is how we communicate, how we treat others, how we portray ourselves, so how we show ourselves to others on the internet, and how we protect ourselves. So in this course, in this very short course, we're going to talk about three main topics of digital ethics. We're going to take a look at online privacy, uh, cyberbullying, and plagiarism. What I would like you to do for this assignment is to think about each of those three things and create your own definition for each one of those three. Don't look up a definition online. I don't want you to tell me what somebody else has said. I want you to come up with your very own definition for each of those three topics. Again, it might be a rough definition. You may not have learned or know much about one or two of those topics. Well, my guess is you probably at least heard something about them. So using what you already know going into this course, I would like you to submit three definitions. A definition for privacy. Remember privacy in relationship to being online in the online environment. Uh, not like privacy, I'm locking my diary in a box underneath my bed in my bedroom. Okay, so all of this is online stuff. Uh, I would like a definition for cyberbullying. And I'd also like a definition for plagiarism. Again, online plagiarism. We're not talking about taking the person's paper next to you and copying it in class or something like that. I want online as your main focus of your definitions for these three topics. I look forward to seeing what you have to say about this. And be prepared, we're going to start learning a little bit more detail about each of these three topics as you move forward.